The word geometry comes from the Greek words called geo meaning the earth and metron meaning the measure where a geometry appears to have originated from the need for measuring the line. This branch of mathematics was studied in various form in every ancient civilization be it in Egypt, Babylonia, China, India, Greece, Incas, etc. where the people of this civilization faced several practical problems which required the development of geometry in various ways. For example, whenever the river Nile overflowed, it wiped out the boundaries between the adjoining fields of different land owners. So after such flooding, this boundaries had to be redrawn. For this purpose, the Egyptians developed number of geometric techniques and rules for calculating simple areas and also for doing simple constructions. And the knowledge of geometry was also used by them for computing the volumes of granaries and for constructing the canals and pyramids. And they were also knew the correct formula to find the volume of truncated pyramid or you can say truncated pyramid. You know that the pyramid is a solid figure the base of which will be either triangle or a square or any other polygon and its sides face are triangles converging to a point at the top. So this is how the geometry was originated from the ancient civilizations. So in the Indian subcontinent the excavations at Arapan and Mohenjo-daro, mainly in the Indus Valley civilization, made an extensive use of geometry. It was highly organized society. The cities were highly developed and very well planned. For example, the roads were parallel to each other and there was an underground drainage system. And the houses had many rooms of different types. So this shows that the town rulers were skilled in mensuration and practical arithmetic. The bricks used for construction were nil fired and the ratios of length, breadth, thickness were found to be 4 is to 2 is to 1. Not only this, in ancient India, the Sulba Sutras were the manuals of a geometrical constructions where the geometry of Vedic period originated with a construction of ultras and a fire place for performing a Vedic rites. And the location of this sacred fires had to be in accordance to their clearly laid down instruction about their shapes and areas. If they were to be effective instrument, the square circular ultras were used for household rituals while ultras whose shapes were a combination of rectangles, triangles and trapezium were required for public worship. And the Sri Yantra consists of nine interwoven isosceles triangles. These triangles are arranged in such a way that they produce 43 subsidiary triangles. Though the accurate geometric methods were used for the construction of ultras, the principle beyond them was not discussed. So here if you see this example, it shows that geometry was being developed and applied everywhere in the world. But this was happening in unsystematic manner. But there is, was a something interesting factor about this. So what is that? So let's see the interesting fact in the next class.